Man, who would have thought that these boots were made for walking? <laughs> On Marion Island, it's the only boots that you can wear to cross the island. You um, cross these waterlogged mires, which it's basically these wetlands. And then on the other hand, you cross these lava flows, which you call ah uh, ah. Uh, it's really these blocky lava flows and it's ragged and razor sharp. So you want your feet to be dry and intact at the end of the day. I was approached by the uh, Subantarctic um, Landscape and Climate Research Group. It's a mouthful. Um, and they're funded by SANAP and they're funded by NRF and they approached me to assist them in geochemical tracing sampling on the island. Well, my doctoral research takes place in the Eastern Free State and it's all about soil erosion and more specifically looking for a fingerprint and not a fingerprint like we know it, but a geochemical tracer in the eroded sediments so we can trace it back to the soils where it originated from. Being on the SA Agalas, I mean, it's this massive icebreaker that takes you 2,000 kilometers away from the continent. And some, at some stage, you're in the middle of nowhere. And at that stage, you see no land. You know the seafloor is four kilometers down and you might as well be in space. Apart from the Earth Science Research Group, there are many other sciences being done on the island as well. There's anything from ornithology uh, because of the exquisite bird life on the island and then even astrophysicists. It ranges from sunny to snowy. One day we hiked in extreme rain. I was literally soaked all the way through. Eventually rain gear just doesn't do anything anymore. It was actually filling up my gumboots. <laughs> and then the one thing which was really a surprise was uh, the amount of wind. You haven't experienced wind until you've worked on Marion Island. <laughs> The island itself, I love all the volcanic features. I mean, in, in mainland South Africa, the Drakensberg basalts are about 180 million years old, where this island is it's less than one million years old. And it's actually still considered an active volcano. The one thing that really stood out for me was the bird life. Uh, specifically the wandering albatrosses. These massive, gorgeous birds, they have the largest wingspan of all the birds. It goes up to three and a half meters. They pair for life, they get very old, and they have these beautiful white chicks. One thing that's very sad is that these birds, as well as some other seabirds, are now being threatened by the invasive mice that arrived, I think, early 19th century on the island. And they're literally being eaten alive, the chicks. It really expands your experiences, your expertise, your knowledge, your skill set. I've grown so much as a researcher and as a person as well. I love the simplicity of being on the island. Uh, suddenly you realize that humans built up this world that's filled with just stress and anxiety and they create these issues that just cause more anxiety. And, Suddenly you're out there in the natural world and you feel this is what the world actually is. Humans just need less than we think we do. And except for condensed milk, you, you always need more condensed milk in your, in your hot coffee. <laughs>